historic high bridge reopened to the public today. The bridge was a crucial part of the city's aqueduct system that brought fresh water into Manhattan in the 19th century. Now it's reopened to the public and pedestrians, bikers can go back and forth from the Bronx to Manhattan. Today we had the, the ribbon cutting for the reopening of the city's oldest standing bridge, the historic high bridge, which was completed in 1848. And after 40 years, of being inaccessible to the public, we reopened it after a, a $61 million historic restoration. Well, the bridge is um, was a critical piece in the Croton Aqueduct system. It's how the rest of New York City had access to clean drinking water after the, the cholera epidemic and the Great Fires. So it has historical significance um, in that because of this bridge, the rest of Manhattan could really thrive. And what brings you here today? Oh, I've been taking, waiting for a long time to be able to ride over this bridge. It's been under uh, renovations for a long time, and uh, things move a little slowly in New York, but it's, uh, it's well, well, well worth the wait. Well, I think it's great for the boroughs. I mean, you have the Bronx and Manhattan being able to uh, have accessibility to each other a little bit easier. Uh, some great parks on the Bronx side and likewise on the Manhattan side, so people can uh, get over here and, and share that experience. And just the, the view is phenomenal.